Hey everyone, it's Donna here and I'm back again with video number two for today. And this time it's all linens. Um, I have several tablecloths that I've been taking apart. And I've also been using a lot of the pieces from those tablecloths in some journal covers. So I'm going to start with the journal covers. Um, everything will be listed down below in the description box and as well as the purchase information uh, how to place an order you'll need to send me an email with a with your um, lot numbers and quantity that you would like to purchase uh, there is a five dollar minimum although i don't think i have anything today that's under five dollars so that shouldn't be that shouldn't be an issue um, up first are some journal covers Oh, and also as things sell out, I will mark them sold down below in the description box so you'll know what's available and what and what's not. Um, up first are some journal covers. I felt like playing with my pretties this week and I had so much fun making these. I love making these covers. Um, the last time I sold them, I hope, I hope some of them didn't sell so that I could make them into journals of my own. But, um, but they did, so I made some more. There are two different sizes. The first size is makes a five by seven inch journal with a signa single signature. Um, up first is lot 206. Come down a little bit. Um, this is what the cover, and they all have just plain muslin on the inside and there's batting in between the layers. So it's nice and soft and, and pliable and, and squishy. Um, this is what the cover of this one looks like and the back side. You can see there's lots of filet and Quaker lace, which you're going to see in a minute. And that's gonna, what it looks like opened up. So that is lot 206. Um, these 5 by 7 ones are $17. Lot 207 is this, and that's the back. Lots of different, different types and styles of linens. That's what it looks like opened up. That was 207. And the last of the 5 by 7 ones, lot 208, is pretty much symmetrical. It just has rows and rows of different, um, different laces, mostly crocheted laces. Some of them are linen. That's what it looks like opened up. So those first three are $17 each. These next three are... Um, Six make a six by nine journal, sig single signature journal. This is lot 209, and these also have um, uh, muslin on the inside. There's the front side of this one, although this one, um, that, there's the back side. You can actually, this one, you can use either one as the front, use that or that, and put something focal up here. There's nothing directional on here. So that's what this one looks like. Kind of a, a patchwork of different linens. That was 209. 210 has a stamped image of the front, a uh, carte postale, a postcard. And this is the back side. Another stamped image, some ticking, lots of filet lace. And there's the front of that one. This is it opened up. So that is 210. Um, these 6x9 ones are $20 a piece. And 211 is the last of the 6x9 ones. There's the front side, there's the back, that's what it looks like opened up. 
Everything on these covers is stitched, stitched onto the cover, so nothing's gonna, nothing's gonna come off. There's a piece here. This is one continuous piece, and you're gonna see these later on in this video. I'm, I'm selling. There's a bunch of those that were on one, one of the tablecloths I took apart. So you're gonna see some of those. That is number two eleven. So that's the last of the journal covers. Now we're going to move on to the linen bundles. Lot 212 is a bundle of four um, laces. There are three different Quaker laces in three different colors and a crochet piece. The crochet piece measures 9 by 24. And that's what this one looks like. You can get several different trims out of this one, one piece. That's a crochet piece. Um, for, uh, and I have to say that these are vintage items. There are some stains, and particularly this Quaker Lace had quite a few stains on it that I, I could not get out. But they're their age discoloration, their, their character marks. Um, this one here is beautiful. It's a beautiful tea stained color already. And it, it measures 20 inches by 18 inches. And this is the one that had the most stains on it. So be aware of that. But as you saw, I used some of that in um, one of the covers, or maybe it was the journal in the last video. This one is white. There is a stain. There wasn't as much stains in um, these next two pieces. This white Quaker lace measures 17 inches by 20 inches. And they're all from different parts of the tablecloth, obviously. That gives you the idea of the pattern. This one is beautiful. It's a buttery cream color. It, it is the color of butter. And it's, it's lovely. I don't think there were any, any stains on this one. Or if they were, they're, they're very minor. And this one measures 21 inches by 21 inches. Can't tell what's the right side and what's the wrong side. This is the right side. So those are the four pieces in lot 212. This bundle is $10 and I have six of these available. Lot 213 is another bundle of all filet lace in different shades. Um, this one has three pieces. Um, the first piece is that kind of a tea stain kind of color, and this piece measures 30 inches by seven and a half inches, and, and it has these really cool little flower type things with the threads. Those, um, in any of these ones that have a slanted and I didn't count that, so the measurement is from here, 30 inches. And that one has a little stain. You will you will find some stains in these, so so please be aware of that. Second piece in lot 213 is this white filet. Um, this one measures 15 inches by 18 inches. And this one has these really cool little little flowers with the with the weeders on them. And the third piece in lot two thirteen is this long one with the with the woven flowers. This one measures 18 inches by 10 inches. 
and you've seen this in a lot of my covers. So those are the three pieces in lot 213. This bundle is also $10. Lot 214 is a, another bundle of three, well actually four, yeah, four, four different ones. This first one is uh, kind of a tea stain kind of color, and this has these really cool little things on them and let me see where's where's the cover where I use that I use the one of these on this cover right in the middle there this first piece piece measures five inches at the widest point by 47 inches the second piece measures and this has a whole bunch of those. This measures 20 inches by seven and a half inches. And I'm not counting these triangular pieces at, at either end. And that has some really cool little motifs that you can use. This one also has a piece of that white filet. Really, really intricate the way all those little threads are woven in and out. And then you've got that in the middle of it. And then the last piece in lot 214 is this piece with the stars this one measures 22 and a half inches by seven inches and that is lot 214 this one is also ten dollars and i only have two of this one available um, that last one i have four available this one i only have two available and then lastly lot 215 is a set of four you'll get two of these that have the four um, motifs with the with the weeders on them you can see they're they're kind of laying on top there's two of those in this bundle and two two of these ones that i that i pointed out in um, one of my um, journal covers I chopped off the top there to make it even across. So there's two of those. And this is lot 215. This one is $6. And that's all I have for today. Um, I really appreciate all your comments on my last couple of videos. I, I read each and every one of them and try to respond to all. Um, it, it really keeps me going, keeps me wanting to do what I, what I do. And I love doing this. So uh, thank you all for your wonderful comments. And if you are interested in anything that you've seen today, please send, send me an email. And that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.